Hello. <laughs> yes, Cruz. How is it going? I hope that you are doing awesome. Today, we're going to be talking about new pept. Um, this is a nootropic which I have been experimenting with recently, and personally, I have found it to have quite profound effects. Now, the first effect is focus. Um, basically, I found it to be quite not not speedy but it kind of had it like like speed's cousin but not as edgy um the heart rate isn't going as fast it's uh it enables me to focus maybe i've got adhd or something and i need i need the ritalin to focus but um yeah i found that it really enabled me to focus and usually after like an hour's djing or something uh by the end of it, I can see my focus slipping in the kind of decisions that I'm making and I can just tell, I can tell where my focus is going. And I took this stuff and bam, like I was laser focused, able to mix better than I have done for some time and um, just be really on point, enjoying it, focused, energized, so yeah, it really helped me focus. Now, uh, the next thing is a stress relief. So right before I had that mix that I was talking about, this epic mix, oh, that one mix, that one day I mixed really well on my DJ decks. Um, basically, I was in a pretty stressed out position. Uh, I, I was feeling a lot of stress right before I had that mix. I was a bit overwhelmed, to be honest with you. And I took my supplement stack. So this isn't quite fair because it's a stack. We're going to get into this later. We're going to get into the stack later. I took my new pet, not new pet. Like I got a new cat. It's a new as in nootropic and pept as in peptide. Um, basically, I took the new pept and... Very quickly, you take it sublingually, so it goes in really fast. Um, very quickly, I became calm, able to deal with the stress. The All the adrenaline coursing through my body and cortisol and everything kind of chill, chilled out. And I was laser focused on the task at hand without ruminating on the things that were stressing me out. Um, and when I say I popped it under my tongue, it's a tiny amount. Um, like... Like, I don't know, the first day I used uh, around 16 milligrams for the first dose. And by the end, I'd worked down to five milligrams. You've got to weigh it out on a little jeweler scale, which has three decimal places on it and on the gram. And um, yeah, use a tiny little spoon. You just get a little, little tiny bit of dust on it and dump it under the tongue. And yeah, it doesn't taste that good. <laughs> it's quite bitter, a bit bitter. So um, yeah, it is said to have many, many uh, side benefits. Um, it's meant to increase like brain function. You get release of like BDNF, brain derived neurotrophic factor, as well as like many other substances, the names and functions of which I am currently unaware of, um, which are said to heal the brain. And this is why many people have used it to aid in the recovery from brain damage and strokes, but also um, PTSD and trauma. So for me, that's all very interesting. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really good because I actually took this, su this supplement stack that I'm going to describe later, including this uh, peptide, um, they're all aimed at reducing stress and anxiety and being able to tackle life's, pro life's problems head on, being all cool, calm, and collected. And that's my dog snoring. Please, please ignore her. She's got, she's got no manners. Um, so uh, <laughs> basically, I found it to be really good. Um, the negative, I found it to, wait, what am I talking about? I found it to be, I found it to be really good. I felt it was amazing. I was like, wow, this thing is crazy. That, like the way I can focus, the way I could talk all night, and I I just felt good, a little bit edgy, but good of focus. Like I wanted to smash my tasks and not have all these like 
crazy, irrational emotions and stuff pulling me in all these different directions. It's more like, yeah, let's focus on the task at hand and laser focus. Other people, I've seen one guy on a YouTube video say he didn't really feel anything from it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We must be very different, me and him, because I I must be like a super responder or something. For me, it was night and day. And um, since stopping it, I have also remained calmer. I haven't had any today. I'm not sure what the half-life is, but yesterday I only had five milligrams, well, twice a day. Maybe I had about 15 milligrams yesterday or something, um, all in all. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's still lasting today. Um, you may have dose it multiple times throughout the day. So I don't know. I'm feeling more chilled now after taking it then, even though I have experienced some stressful situations today. Oh, it's so stressful. Oh, so um, let's talk about the negatives. Can't all be positive, mate. Can't all be fucking positive. Yeah, sorry, I swore. Oh, no. Um, basically, I have experienced a negative skin reaction to this drug, and it is a drug. It's like not just like a supplement for me. It's like a proper drug one that enables you to focus and achieve everything that you need to in life, but a, a drug nonetheless. Um, basically, I have experienced what looks like to be like aging skin. It's in, and it's like quite an acute skin reaction. I, in fact, I noticed it to start off with on the second day, um, but the stuff was so good that I kept on taking it for another like full day and then another full day after that. Um, and then I've stopped taking it now. I haven't had any today. Um, it's my first day off. Oh, I'm jonesing for it. I'm jonesing. Basically, um, yeah, I first noticed the skin reaction. It isn't particular to this drug. I first noticed it about 10 years ago when I was getting first into the world of smart drugs and nootropics. And I tried modafinil after hearing Dave Asprey rant on about how awesome it is on the Tim Ferriss podcast. And no, it was it Joe Rogan? Hey, Obviously, my brain's not working and my cognitive faculties aren't on point. Basically, uh, I heard people espouse how good it was at getting stuff done. And I bought a load of it. And I took it for two days, the modafinil. And basically, I, I could see my skin aging in front of me. And it's the same thing that I've seen with this, like very quickly. And I know it will go away, um, but there might, hopefully there's not that much permanent damage. Um, and basically, yeah, uh, my my skin ended up just like breaking on my wrists and ankles. They got it was really itchy and it just kind of like broke and I was bleeding. For, anyway, that was my modafinil reaction. That's the first time I noticed this type of reaction, and it was very extreme. Um, now I've also noticed this same reaction when taking the majority of in performance enhancing drugs in the anabolic steroid uh, kind of world. Um, I've, I've noticed it from most things apart from testosterone. Um, YK11, which is very strange. It's a steroidal psalm, which is actually meant to re you know, increase myostatin, but reduce uh, collagen synthesis. But that didn't seem to cause the problem in my skin, which looks like a reduction in collagen synthesis. Um, and uh, S4. I didn't notice any problems taking S4, the Psalm S4. Um, however, I did notice a problem taking uh, <laughs> Anavar, um, which is crazy. That's prescribed to burns victims to help their skin recover. So I noticed that having this problem with me acutely. NPP, which is fast acting DECA. DECA is known for its collagen synthesis and it should have made my skin thicker. I don't know what's going on. Equipoise, I've heard Vigorous Steve talk about taking care of your skin whilst you're on cycle. And he says that Equipoise should make the skin thicker. It should increase collagen synthesis. Um, uh, Diana Ball, Osterine, um, I don't know, like uh, LGD4033, you know, both oral and injectable format. All of these things, as well as this new pet, they seem to cause this quite acute skin reaction, which is thoroughly annoying because I like what's happening? What is happening? I, I can see it happening like within 24 hours of taking each compound that I've mentioned there. So it's like, why is that happening? 
I don't know. That is definitely going to be the topic of future videos because I'm going to look into this. I'm going to start working with a dermatologist. I'm going to I'm going to find out what is going on because I am very interested in this and I want to help other people that have also had the same problem. So I'm going to go deep on this. But hey, that's for another video. Now let's let's get back to my stack. Um, so with this new pet, I've been taking ashwagandha which is a very natural root kind of found in India. And I'm using a concentrated extract of it. And that's said to really assist with like stress, cortisol levels and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's meant to be like regulating all your hormones and your thyroid and all this stuff. So yeah, that's good. That's really good. Um, lion's mane, that's like a mushroom that's again, extracted, concentrated, and yeah, that's meant to be very good for neurogenesis and you know, keeping calm, emotional control. The next is choline. Now you wanna take choline, a, a preferably, you know, probably in a supplemental form, you can find it in egg yolks and stuff, but you need to take choline when you're taking nootropics like Nupept, because it's gonna make them work better, but Nupept and other um, kind of smart drugs, they do drain the brain of choline. So you need to replace that. And yeah, I've been taking choline with it. I've also been taking L-theanine, which is an amino acid. Again, you can buy it over Amazon. It's not, I don't know how potent it is, but what I can tell you is before I took this new pet, I was extremely stressed out. Um, uh, today's my first day not taking it after taking it for three days. Today, I have experienced quite stressful situations that would normally send me into like a, you know, a little bit of a tailspin and I feel surprisingly calm. I don't know what's going on. Has the new pet changed me and helped heal my brain in some way whilst aging my skin by a bunch of years? Has, um, has uh, do the other supplements work and they're just building up now and they're only just kicking out of here? The ashwagandha, you need to take it for about a week before you really feel any effect off it. Um, is it all a massive placebo? And I'm gonna feel very stressed out, you know, <laughs> in in a, a little bit of time. I don't know. Um, all I can tell you is my subjective experience from this very non-controlled uh, study that I've done with an N of one. Uh, so yeah, that's my experience. Oh, another thing is I seem to have dropped like some body fat since doing all of this. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the stress reduction, maybe new pept. Uh, massively sped up my metabolism. Maybe it's the ashwagandha sorting out my thyroid, yo, and making my thyroid hormones run at the right level again. Who knows what it is? Um, but yeah, I was definitely like at least like a kilo and a half lighter on the scales, which is cool because I was putting on a lot of fluff and I'm going to be able to like bulk pretty hard now for the next powerlifting competition, which is in like five weeks, yo. So let's stay stress-free and get neuroprotected and keep the skin looking young and do all that good shit. Achieve the stuff that you need to achieve in life. Until next time, catch you later. Peace.